Hey guys, it's Rob with On Our Last Life, and welcome to Alwa's Awakening. I remember I I saw something about this a few months ago. I bought it, I left it on Steam, and like I haven't touched it. But uh, I was taking a break from playing some Sekiro and tired of getting my butt kicked. So I decided, you know what? Let me give this a try. So, uh, let's go. The land of Awa was once a peaceful and beautiful place filled with vivid lakes, clear skies, and lush forests. The people living there were free. They took care of one another and together ensured the safety of the land. Sounds like a nice place. Uh oh. But one day, the peace was broken. Someone wanted Awa for himself and a mystical being known as Vicar descended from above. Vicar's a class, by the way. Uh, armed not by weapons, but instead driven by the hate, he slowly began to enslave the people of Awa. No one could escape his reach. Vicar formed the protectors together. They sought to claim the ornaments, which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornament had always been in the hands of the people, safe from evil. With them captured by the car, all seemed lost. Until, under the demonic reign of a car, the people of Awa were helpless and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. The village where the ornaments were kept was destroyed and hope was gone. Soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. Oh damn. We've been fucked. But things are about to change. The people of Awa have chosen to fight. And from another world, a heroine has been sent for. Oh, that's us. Forsaken Valley. Wake up, Zoe. Uh, I'm pretty sure Zoe is what you're trying to go for, but whatever. Uh, we'll say Zoe for now. I'm trying to wake up. Okay. The eternal flame must be lit. Wake the fuck up, Zoe. Well, hello. Uh, you are in the land of Alwa. I am a sage. I'm a saga. I am, I am Saga. Here we go. I am Saga and I have brought you here to help. Awa has been enslaved by evil and we, the people, have lost our strength and courage to fight back. You cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us and in time you will uncover your true strength. You must enter this tower and go all the way to the top in order to find the magic staff. When you have found the staff, quickly make your way back to town. But watch out! There are many dangerous foes out there. Okay. That's the jump button. This does nothing to me. Can I pause? Okay. Oh, I can No, I don't want to quit the game. Map not found yet. No. Can I leave? Okay. Select does nothing. Okay, let's go. Let's go on. I think this game is intended to be hard, by the way. Okay, so far, very plain. Can I at least get a weapon? Or move faster, because that would be nice. Oh, he jumps so cute. There we go. You found a magic staff. When you hold it, you can feel there is something really special with this item. Use, use it with attack to fight enemies and destroy certain walls. Okay, so... I guess we gotta... There we go. Okay, I can't duck an attack. At least not yet. 
Is there anything else up here? No. And, uh, I wonder, is there a level up system? I want a quick game. Uh, I guess there's, there's level zero there. Let's go down his ladder. Oh, it only needed one? Did it really just take that long to die? Yeah, a little hard. I can't get up there yet. I hope I get more abilities. Okay, uh, it's pretty obvious that those spikes are gonna hurt. Right, Amber... Sackalum? Sacelium? I'm back. There's still more to explore up here. Come on, tree boy. Make our way up. Uh, I don't think I can make that jump, so we'll just go straight right for the moment. See what's over here. And there's a little orb. And we cannot get that yet. I hope there's a double jump feature later. Or a map. That'd be nice, too. Right, because if I look here, map not found it. So there is a map. Okay. I'm not going to make that jump. The waterfall. I feel like these blocks are going to break once we land on them. Oh, they're gonna fall. Mega Man style. At least we don't take fall damage. Oh, I could use that heart. What's over here? Hmm. Maybe we put something there later? Warp activated! Where does this take me, though? Nope. And who are you? Be honest, or you will find Amber Salium. The first step on your journey. In there, you will find a green gemstone and very powerful enemy. When you have found the stone and defeated the evil, go back to town. This dungeon is very dangerous, so you need a map. First, you should go talk to Platt in the town of Westwood. Then pick up the map. Do that and I'll let you in. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm already here. Yeah. And boy, at least there's warps. You know, fast travel. I'm sure we get a ability later. Boy Tower. Kind of what? Look, okay, okay. I think it's too late to go talk to that girl. Welcome, Zoe. This is the town of Westwood. Thank you for coming to the land of Awa. You have been sent for because we are weak. You must help us destroy the evil that threatens our land. Go back to the cave just outside town and talk to the knight. He will open the entrance to find Amber Salium. There you will find a green gemstick. Yeah, we know that. This house where you can go find a map of Alwa. It will guide you in your journey. Now go. Okay. Yeah, map unlocked. Found a map. You check your inventory. And if you check your inventory... Now shows you location. Come on, try it out. Holy crap. 
Oh, I guess that means I have to go and relook at everything. That's gonna suck. Oh, look you, buddy. Hello. I am Orui Warui. Welcome to the town of Westwood. I know a lot of things, so come talk to me if you ever need any help. I hear there is a flask. I heard there is a flask you can store water in. Did you find it? Do not stare too long at the light. The eye of the beholder will reveal many secrets not visible to the naked eye. Uh-huh. When you're strong enough, go to the Gloom Lake. You will find... You will then unlock the entrance to your final challenge. Alright, buddy. You know a lot of stuff. It's not actually helping me. Uh. I wonder what these things are for. Oh! These are save points! I just had to hit up. Uh, this bridge is broken, and you cannot pass. But if you have the green gemstone, you can create a block that lets you pass. Well, I guess we know our first quest. Let's get out of this town. Forsaken Valley. But there's no... Oh, okay. There is a map of Forsaken Valley. Out of my face. Okay, so I do get to fill it out. That's nice. So I gotta, I gotta hit up. Yeah. I don't know if I can go back, actually. Let's go check it out. I wanna go talk to that lady again. Or... For the first time. I guess fill out the map, I guess. I feel like, okay, there it does show me the save point, which is cool, I guess. So, there is no way for me to go back. Oh well. Let's go up in here real quick. Now that you have the map, you are ready. When you have found the green gemstone and evil is defeated, go back to town. Okay. I guess we're gonna get into a fight. Is that what it is? Ambrosalium. I'm sure you unlock like a jump later. There has to be it. Oh, yeah, it does like a uh, highlight which ones you're in. Ooh, is that the green gemstone? It looks like I need a key to get that. Yeah, finally got my first one. There's the key. There's a key. And I can jump up there. Oh. Okay. I see. Yeah, almost got me, game. I thought that was the green gemstone. Gee, thanks, game. Okay, there's a save point. That's nice. Oh, and it heals you. That's also nice. I wonder if we get more HP as we level, as we go on. I 
Aww, it's so cute with her struggling. Okay. A two of them. There's twelve in here. I wonder if there's anything hidden in this game. I don't think I can reach that, can I? I mean, I guess I gotta drop it. I mean, it's the only, th it makes the only logical sense. Can only assume that this means it's another safe point. Oh, hey! We're back. Go and light the flame in the center of this room. Doing so will let you start here if your inventory comes to an end. Okay. And then we're back in the Forsaken Valley. But we've already unlocked the... Not unlocked, but... Ooh, there's a down area. Oh, yeah. There was a down area. We've unlocked... Uh, the progression for it? Let me just go fill out the map, because I feel like I should. I don't know, I feel like if I do that, like I'll, I'll be able to see more things later. Yeah, I start the game here. Okay, so I don't think it's going to be a very long game. It might be a one playthrough kind of game. Let me go up here real quick. I just want to, I want to fill out the map. Because who knows, maybe there's a achievement for it. Okay, did this... I feel like at one point we're going to come back here anyways, and this was for nothing. Like, can I go up there? No. But I can go up there. I feel like this game is going to be very hard later on. Or very easy, who knows. Bosses are always like a mixed bag. We can't make that jump, for sure. Oh man, I need to remember that over here, I know have a thing. I guess I gotta remember that. make that, can I? I can't make that. I can't. I'm for, sh for sure I can't make that. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can make this jump. We're so close. We were we were like right there too. And there's the warp and then we gotta go that's the village, I think. Or no, this guy it's where he opens his stuff for us.
Ambercelium. I don't think I have to kill things, right? Yeah. Wait, level zero still. Unless leveling up is a hidden mechanic that we don't see. But I feel like it's more tied to story. Uh, yeah, I need a key. I need a key for that. Ah, ah. Okay. Oh, it is still more to go. Okay. So, we'll end the episode off here. And next time we'll come back, we'll go ahead and explore more of Alwa's Awakening. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me everywhere. Because it, it helps me later. Alright, good night.